Now we're facing a 1v1 situation. Get in the car to get a better position and working the edge of the circle. Great play. You want to go ahead and pre-rotate the circle before the enemy can. That way you can get keep him instead of vice versa. Let's pop in the reload. We see the enemy on the southeast east side of the yellow house. Playing the corners, trying to confuse the enemy. Going back to the next cluster of rocks. Hopefully where the enemy cannot see us. A German Shepherd about knocked down my green screen. She don't give a shit. What is going on, Wolfpack Savage here? In today's video, we're gonna be breaking down and analyzing a viewer submitted gameplay. We're gonna spectate their entire match and analyze everything that they're doing, talking about the good things they're doing, as well as the mistakes that they are making. We're also gonna be covering all the teams they encounter, talking about how that team should have outplayed our team and vice versa, should we die. Before we get into the video, if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel, join the Wolfpack today. We're getting so close to 100,000 subscribers, it's absolutely mind blowing. Also, don't forget to leave a like on the video. Let's get this video to 1300 likes. And as always, if you guys are looking for teammates to play with, make sure you join our Discord community and utilize the Looking for Groups pages to your advantage to find some teammates that you may be able to actually get some wins with. But without further ado, let's go ahead and dive into video. All right, here we are spectating a frat monkey into squad and they do have open comms. So I'm gonna try my best to turn their comms up and pause whenever I really need to say something. That way we can really discuss communication and teamwork. Now, I like the fact that he's trying to shoot bitches out the air. Always take advantage of some bot flying in. If you can blow him away, make sure you do so. And this is going to be a super store drop, baby. It's going to be a little hot drop. I love it. We don't get these too often, so I love to see this shit. Now, the benefit to super store is just like playing Rebirth Island. You get in a lot of fights, and you learn how to outwork the enemy. Holy shit, brother. Good shit. Yo, my dude Frat Monkey with the B-Hops backwards to bait the enemies one at a time to the doorway and blow them away with the Uzi. I love to see it. That was only one squad. I highly doubt we're alone at Superstore by ourselves. There, we may be. Doesn't seem like anybody else is here. I don't see any objectives disappearing, um, but I would definitely clear it out. If you're going to take advantage of the Superstore drop, make sure you fully take advantage of it and try to hunt down everybody in here. We also do have enough for our loadout drop, so we can also go to the buy station right now, grab our loadout, and then either A, fight people in this bitch with our fully decked out weapons, or B, rotate the scavenger, get more money, and buy more shit. This place actually looks like there's no one here. Bro, I don't think I've ever been Superstore with only one enemy team. I don't think ever. But again, I definitely would have recommended us get our loadout. We should already have our loadout right now. We were pretty close. He's only at dealership. So it should have only taken like 30 seconds for us both to go there, grab our shit. And then we can separate and go wherever we want. Again, I'd rather be fighting people with my actual weapons than these basic bitch weapons. Now, I always recommend you guys starting out to stay near your teammates. And you usually want to stay near your teammates. But if you guys are getting up in skill level, you're getting more confident in your gunplay, you think you can actually outfight 1v2s, 1v3s, maybe even 1v4s, then by all means... Go ahead and do exactly what Frat Monkey's doing, which is sit in Superstore by himself, just kind of playing playing the entire area. Come on. Come on, let's see it. Oh, we shit. got a loadout drop. We also bought a UAV. No one's really around us. Again, very surprising there. Um, Tyler did go down, but Gators was there to clean up the kill and get the res off. And we have another enemy sitting in the warehouse. Oh, my God. All right, so now we got a loadout on the on the rooftop, and this guy's sitting right here. It should be an easy clap. All right, you can jump to the next rooftop. It's kind of a hard jump, but it's not impossible. Good shit, brother. And then beam this guy as he leaves the cubby. Beautiful. I don't think he got the kill. It said elimination. I don't know why it said elimination. Did it? I'm kind of confused. It didn't pop up the kill feed. What happened? Did he die? Let me know in the comments if I missed something. I have I have no idea what the hell just happened. <laughs> did he did we kill him or no? I'm guessing we killed him because he doesn't really look like he's, uh, maybe, I don't know. All right, but we got a shit ton of money. It's time to go ahead and buy, man. We can get a UAV. We can get a couple UAVs. We can get some self reses. Um, advanced UAV. I think it's a little early for advanced UAV because the circle's still relatively big. I usually like to wait till mid game or late game to buy an advanced. That way I can actually hunt down team after team after team. Because the circle's so big, if you get an advanced, you're going to do a lot of traveling to go from one team to another. And by the time you get to the second team, that advanced will be gone. So definitely buy a UAV or buy something. We got a shit ton. Oh, fuck there. He's right there. No, 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 no. Damn. Not gonna lie. There's really no. It is what it is, honestly. I wouldn't say he played that wrong in that situation. I really wouldn't. Um, He rounded the corner and the guy just happened to be right there sitting. Um, As soon as he identified the enemy right there, he tried to fall back. But by then it was too late. 
Um, really no critique there. It's just it is what it is. I'm gonna go down. Right, here we are landing again. I'm not sure if they got the kill or not. I don't think they did. They didn't want no smoke. Gators on one rooftop. Tyler's on the other roof of the yeah, hangar, and we're gonna hopefully try to go get our shit. Fine. All right, unfortunately, that team did push Gators. He's by himself. Pinging this shit out the enemy. Light him up, baby. Throw. Ping that man. I love it. Now, normally, I would tell you guys, stop spamming pings for sure. But in the case of getting a live ping off, that's completely different. If you're actually pinging the actual enemy to where it's a live ping, you want to spam it. That way, your team can know exactly where he's at. Because if you only ping him one time, it's only going to last for a couple seconds. And then it's just going to go to a normal ping. And we're going to lose track of where the enemy is actually at. So I like the fact that he did spam that, keeping the ping as active as long as possible, which in turn was able to give Tyler an exact location of the enemy and he was able to get a kill from it. Now, I want you guys to pay attention to Frat Monkey's movement. Slide canceling, YY, looking everywhere. He's always scanning around him. It may not look like that's what he's doing, but he is. He's going from side to side, always scanning, make sure he's watching everything. Jumping, slide canceling, changing his weapon, whatever it may be, he's always keeping himself moving. All right, looks like we'll be chasing down bounties. We also, again, have money we could grab UAVs for. I'm definitely a firm believer in grabbing some UAVs. We have an extra UAV on us, but we also do have $5,400 we can give to our teammate, and maybe he can buy some UAVs. That way, you can literally just hop team after team after team, spamming UAVs in the air almost the entire match. Um, not to mention, if you're using bounty and the UAV combo, that's even more perfect, because not only are you chasing down the bounty, the UAVs are still in the air to allow you guys to see if you're going to get third party or not. And yes, I know there's ghosts. A lot of people do use ghosts, but at the same time, um, I'd still rather have a UAV in the air just for peace of mind because a lot of people don't really utilize ghosts like you think they do. Now, his graphics are turned down pretty drastically as well as his... I think he's got an NVIDIA filter on there. And the reason why I'm talking about this is look at his frames. His FPS right now is 120 to 150. And frames win games, boys. So you definitely want to turn down your graphics settings if it's going to give you better frame rate. I know the game might not look as pretty, but again, the objective is to get as many frames as possible. I also want to point out the fact that they got a bounty and they're not wasting any damn time. They're going to the bounty. They're not sitting here and lollygagging and looting and all this other crap that we see all these random squads that I spectate do. They got a bounty and they instantly hightailed it and went to the bounty. Why are you going to pick up an objective if you're not going to do it? So I love to see that. And again, may seem basic to you guys, but trust me. More people do that shit than you think. Right here. All right, good job pinging. I want you guys to notice this too. Every time they get knocked, every time they go down, every time they see anything, they ping the enemy. And you guys want a video on teamwork, but this shit right here is exactly what I'm talking about. All you gotta do is ping the enemy. You don't even have to talk to each other. You can literally just curse each other out the entire time. But if you're pinging the enemy, I mean, that right there is most of the teamwork that you need. Half the time, you guys are messing up because you're not getting call outs. It's actually, I guess it was a good thing we were sitting on the money because our teammate died. Fry Monkey said, yo, Gator's gonna die. I'm gonna keep this money just in case I gotta buy him back. Damn, it's f***ed up, bro. All right, but now we gotta get our teammate back and we got enough money to do so. So we just gotta make our way to the buy station, maybe take the vehicle over there, give our teammate or our teammate give us the money and then head out and get our teammate back. And again, you wanna do everything as fast as possible because this squad could drop potentially 40 or even 50 kills just between the three of them. They got the right plays. Um, unfortunately, some endings do dictate a slower game, and unfortunately for them, it's going to be a more northern ending, which means military quarry or this area, and most of the time, people are going to be camped up, so it's going to be a little harder to drop a shit ton of kills, but it's not impossible. Oh, There's the enemy right here coming back. I guess he's coming back to buy his teammate, too. And I love that. You notice how he jumped out the car and he jumped on the enemy and instead of the enemy looking for the player, he looked right at the car and it was an easy beam for us. Good shit, dude, the pings, bro. Yep, yep. Look at this! Gators are coming back in from heaven and uh, he's picking all the enemies as he floats in. That is That right there is genius, bro. Um, we do this shit all the time. It's something you need to do. If you guys are coming back from the heaven, especially for teams in a fight, you need to start being useful in the air. You don't have to land. In fact, I don't really recommend you guys land with a pistol and try to outplay the situation. If your team's really about to get shit on, by all means, jump down there and help fight. But if it's a position where they could win the fight and you see that, ping the enemies and at least give your team a little bit of heads up of where the enemies are at so they can make plays based on that information. I love the fact that Gators is floating in the air, giving call out. And again, people are watching this video with two or three KDs. You already know this shit, but all you guys new to the game, hopefully you guys take this information and practice it. Because again, we spectate so many different games where people just come in from the gulag with their teams in a fight and they don't give any pings or any kind of communication. In fact, half the time they even land across the map to so start working as a team. Even if you can't help them fight, you can help them by the pings. So we're able to get the, we're able to get the res off barely. And then homeboy comes in, instantly downs a teammate. Hang on. 
Beautiful. Beautiful. Good shit. You good, Gator? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> but Gator was floating in the air, basically giving us an early warning system, letting us know where everyone's at. We were able to solidify the res barely, and then we were able to get the kill as he downed our teammate again. And not only that, but Gator also gave us the call out where the last guy was at, which told us, hey, don't try to res again, win this fight, and then we get the res off later on. That's exactly what happened. So again, Start using comms, start using pings to your advantage. I love the fact that this team is using pings the way they are. And I know it seems a little crazy that I'm like really hyped about that, but dude, you see all the games we post and spectate, we don't get this that often. And just like that, we went from five kills to eight kills. We could still, we could still potentially drop a 20 kill game, but the circle is diving back Southeast, which is good for us, especially if you're trying to get kills. It's gonna be a better fight. This is gonna be a better place to get some kills at. I also wanna point out that they haven't really been in one spot for more than a few minutes. They go in, they loot, they get kills, they loot the kills, and they get the hell out of there. And they transition to the next spot. They're consistently moving from place to place to place to find new teams to fight. Again, if you guys are posted up in one area waiting for players to come to you, then there's no surprise why you're only getting three or four kills a game. You guys got to get out there and start practicing being aggressive. And that's exactly what this squad's doing. I got to be careful in the middle of the runway, though, because we're between the hangars and we're between this area right here that usually has the buy station, right? Um, not to mention what's in front of us. So you definitely want to choose an area to go to. I'd probably go in this area right here. That way I can play the wall and then move up wherever I wanted to go after that. But sitting in the middle of the runway is really not too good of an idea. So I definitely would get to a better position just because I wouldn't want to get pinched between two enemies. All right, TP, watch out. And again, the pings go live as soon as he sees a target. One behind you, Gator. One behind you, Gator. All right, again, live ping saving the day. Even though we're spread out, man, those live pings being up helps us identify which way to look instead of sitting here guessing. I don't like that. Whenever you see teams sitting here shooting different directions and are spread out and no one's pinging anything, it just creates too much confusion and delays us from helping our teammates get the kills. And then people are wondering why we're not helping them out. And realistically, we have no idea where the hell they're getting shot from because our teammates aren't actually pinging the enemy. Teamwork! That's what it's about! No matter how good you are at the game, if you guys are practicing teamwork and getting good with teamwork, guess what? You're gonna win more games, even if your aim is pretty bad. Accuracy and strategy comes over time. The more you play, the better you get. That's just how it is. But teamwork, teamwork is something you can actually practice in real time and get better at almost instantly, just by doing the simplest things like pinging enemies. I know it's a new concept for a lot of players because not many games have a pinging system in it, but again, it's something to practice. Again, uh, so close. I always recommend shooting at vehicles. Normally, it's very easy to shoot enemies out of vehicles, so definitely do it. And there you go, dude. There you go. We're able to get hits on the vehicle. Gator's able to come in and get the kills. Notice how we're pinging the enemy before shooting. And the reason why he didn't shoot the enemy just now, why? Because he's near cover. Because he's near cover. If you shoot the enemy, what's going to happen? He's just going to dive behind, and then all of a sudden, now he knows where you're at. Um, And then you guys are going to have to push him, and they're going to have an advantage on you. But instead, we get the down on an enemy who's actually pretty vulnerable. We get a down of another guy camping in a window, head glitching it. Remember, guys, if you're sitting in a window, step back from the window. You have to sit there and make out with the glass. Step back, step into the shadows and shoot the enemy through the window like that. Him sitting right there close to the window just made it a very easy down for us. All right, I'm going to go ahead and start a little something in my in my comment section. I want to see what you guys think. Um, I don't even play console, but what do y'all guys think, man? Xbox or PlayStation? I'm an Xbox fanboy. That's what I used to play back in the day. So I'm going to vote Xbox, man. You guys let me know in the comment section right now what you guys think are better. Xbox or PlayStation. But here, here we have a guy in here camping. This should be an easy kill right here. Again, if they're camping. Oh, shit. That too. Notice how the moment we started losing the fight, he bailed out, went back down the stairs so he can give himself ample amount of opportunity to play it up and re-enter the fight. I love that. Instead of just sitting there challenging the enemy 1v1 and just accepting the fact he's going to die, he actually bailed out and changed his position so he could replay it up and survive to fight another day something you don't see often in a spectating series at all all right so here we are in fu mountain and there is an enemy pinged on the uav First to the right south about, right? he does have a down arrow so i'm going to go ahead and assume that he's probably somewhere around the uh little baby crying he's probably somewhere in the tunnel and there's a vehicle pulling up as well um, another enemy to our right hand side let's go ahead and beam this asshole he's by himself and he's stunned together boom <laughs> he's so mad bro i don't know what the hell he just said but i'm sure it was something out of anger all right, here we are concussing what we think is an enemy, but again, I think they're below us just because of the arrow on the uh, on the mini map. But then again, we were a little bit elevated, so he may not be. He may be on our level. Better safe than sorry. 
Oh, there's an enemy actually by the rock up here. Laying prone by it. And he shoots us. What an idiot. Savage, why is he an idiot for shooting at us? Don't you want us to fight people? No, he's a dumbass. Don't do that. So it's the reason why he's a dumbass, bro. Is because he's down here. Dude, he's very vulnerable from us, man. So why would you piss off a target that's got a better position than you just for you to run away and get shot in the back? Yes, he's got a vehicle, but again, it's very easy to shoot people out of vehicles and he's not even in that vehicle yet. So he really engaged in this fight when he shouldn't have. He shouldn't have. And now, Frat Monkey's gonna shoot down his throat. Let's watch. Let the shitting commence, boys. Oh, it's coming. Just wait. So what the enemy team should have done instead of pissing off the squad was just getting the vehicle and dip. They were in a they were at the disadvantage. There was no reason. Oh no. There was no reason for that squad to engage in that fight, period. They had a vehicle, just get in the vehicle and dip out and reposition and then gatekeep us. If they would have repositioned to the you hospital to the northeast, they could have had a great position to shit down our throats oh. a couple seconds later. Unfortunately, Gators goes down. Was um, Tyler was able to clip the kill. That was very unfortunate. But that just comes down yeah. to players shooting at shit they shouldn't shoot at. Just because you see the enemy doesn't mean you need to shoot at them. Not all the time. It's very rare to tell you guys not to shoot at an enemy. But if you're in a bad position and you have a chance to actually out rotate or out position that enemy and gatekeep them, you need to make sure you do it. There's no reason for him to shoot at us like that. That was insane. Even if he would have downed us, we were on a hill. We would have gone down and been safe. All right, there's an enemy in front of us. Watch this, dude. Watch this. Oh, no. Is he... Oh, you got lucky, boy. All right, so we got that guy. We can almost guarantee his team's probably on the rooftop. Also, the fact that the cluster strikes going to the rooftop also lets me know that there's enemies up there. So just be very careful you don't get shot from above. It's kind of a dangerous spot to be in. I'm not really a huge fan of this position. Uh, mostly because this is kind of how you get yourself pinched. It's kind of how you get yourself messed up. We've got to move into the next zone. And if you notice, Bank right here has got a team sitting there, and so does Fire Station. So literally our next move is to run between two teams. So at this point, I kind of bail from this entire fight. Get your teammate back, get back to this vehicle and drive to safety, hopefully. It's not gonna be an easy task because again, you can get shot out of vehicles very easy, but it's probably your safest bet. Um, that's exactly what I would do in this position, but let's see what happens. We just bought our teammate back. So I'm sure the team on the roof is alerted and they're probably gonna shit down our throats as well. Hopefully not. There it is. <laughs> But notice every time Frat gets shot at, he instantly dives back to cover. That way he can play it up and give himself time. The gas mask may save him too. So the team on the rooftop is going to have to jump off in front of us to be safe. There they are. And all we got to do is shoot him in the back because we have a gas mask. I love it. It really ended up working out in our favor. We hear another guy parachuting behind us. Perfect. Beam his ass. And then where's the third boyfriend at, boys? Oh, shit. You really can't help that again, dude. We're trying to 1v3 over here. Just very unfortunate the enemy happened to be right there, but I'm pretty sure Tyler's gonna shit down his throat too. All right, there's actually a guy on the rooftop as well, right here, right here. Man, I'm not gonna slay Frat Monkey for not pinging him because it's a pretty pretty big distance, especially when you can't ADS to get the ping off. But there is an enemy over there under um, Gators, so it's not really looking good for Gators. There's also a big Bertha coming our way, and there's an enemy out in the open right here, so we're really in a bad spot. Working your way to fire station is your best bet. Hopefully these guys at bank are shooting at somebody else and occupied with anything else. And there's a the guy getting gator. That sucks. That's unfortunate. There's three of them in there. All right, good call out. You hear Gator said there's three of them in there. So that guy on the rooftop is a whole different team. We have concussions. We have nades. He's throwing the concussion bottom floor to bait. No hit. So you assume they're on top. There's a double hit. Um, the cluster strike's really not going to do anything for you. So definitely don't waste it. Get some grenades in there. See if you can get some cracks. The dude's rocking. Uh, got to come out. You heard that, bro? Dude's got to come out. He's right. Instead of pushing in there, going gung-ho, trying to get the kills and fighting the gas and the enemies, just wait for him. Just wait for him. What is this? This dude's holding a plate out the window. Look at this shit, dude. Easy beams. Where's his teammate? On the rooftop, maybe? Yep, there he is. Bunny hopping off like it's Fortnite. Getting execution. <laughs> Dying to gas and our gun. I love it. Ladies and gentlemen, here we are spectating Frat Monkey in a 1v8 situation. All hopes against us. We have to move out in the open with very little cover. We do have a little rock cluster in front of us, which we can utilize to our advantage. But you can damn well guarantee there's going to be a team at the yellow house because of the vehicle position in front of it. We have two marks on UAV as well. One guy out in the open. We could pick out 
easily and beam his ass in this area. And there's also a team at this little house, um, the long white one that's behind yellow house as well. So we can account for three of the last four enemy teams left. Now, unfortunately, I don't think Frat Monkey spotted the guy to our left-hand side, which is very unfortunate because I do believe he's relatively close to us, unless he got beamed. We got another enemy shooting at us from the east-hand side, using the cluster strike, trying to suppress the enemy. Unfortunately, missing the cluster completely, but able to pop the prone and not get shot somehow. Beautiful, beautiful. I don't know. I thought he had an angle on us for sure, but clearly he did not. Now we're trying to work our way to the yellow house right now. Again, there's an enemy still in white house. We saw him on the ping. This is our opportunity to get in Yellow House and hopefully outwork the enemies in here. We also have another team in the house over here towards right the northeast side as well. We're still focused on the guy at the cluster of rocks right here. You definitely want to play it. I don't mind him not busting yeah. into the building because it could be a full three-man team in there. I doubt it, but it could be. So I like the fact that he's playing slow instead of just jumping into a building. This guy might be on the corner. There he is right there. Boom, one, oh, boom, two. Oh. There's a down. Get the execution. His boyfriend behind him. Going from the execution to finish off the teammate. Get the squad wipe. Now we're facing a 1v1 situation. Get in the car to get a better position and working the edge of the circle. Great play. You want to go ahead and pre-rotate the circle before the enemy can. That way you can get keep him instead of vice versa versa popping the reload we see the enemy on the southeast east side of the yellow house playing the corners trying to confuse the enemy going back to the next cluster of rocks hopefully where the enemy cannot see us there's the enemy looking around the corner of the wall that's their first instinct instead of looking where we should be at they're looking where they last saw us at and there he is right now i want you guys to notice how frat boy is jumping from rock to rock sidestepping as he plates up he's never standing perfectly still he's always keeping his body moving that helps you from getting shot by another enemy even though it's a 1v1 still a great tactic to use in this position unfortunately now we are gonna have to leave cover it looks like homeboy's got a gas mask we do not have a gas mask so we're gonna sit in gas to try to get the last kill and boom baby we get the kill gg Thank you for watching, bro. There's really no critiques there. I love the way you played that. I'm glad we get to show the community just a normal way to play the game. Keep your body moving. Keep your body slide canceling. Keep your body cracked out technically, right? Keep going at it. Chase bounties down. Use UAVs. Go after fight after fight after fight. We ended up pretty slow in the beginning. There were 60 enemies left. We only had five kills. We ended up dropping a 20 kill game. We were out positioned at the end of the game. We were able to work the circle, work the cover, work the buildings and come out with the win. I love the fact that you went from target to target to target. And while you're executing an enemy, you literally diverted your crosshairs to the actual enemy that was up shooting at you instead of just full on trying to get the execute like most players did. So Frat Monkey, thank you for submitting the gameplay, brother. Really enjoyed watching your squad, bro. Y'all absolutely slapped out. Love the teamwork. Love the comms. Guys, make sure you're using teamwork and comms and pings just like Frat Monkey and his boys did. But again, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you subscribe to the channel today. Leave a like on the video. And as always, y'all have a good Good one and good luck in Warzone. Thank you for watching. I really hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, check out one of these bangers right here. And as always, click that button to subscribe to the channel today. You have a good one. And until next time, keep on improving.